What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and configure your Microsoft Elite Series 2 controller. Now, um, at first look, you might be like, well, I've, I've had controllers before, I know how to use them, I know how to set them up and everything. And, and you're right, for the most part, um, everything is pretty straightforward. Um, but there are some very unique features that I thought I would show you and point out in the um, Elite controller. So the first thing you're going to want to notice is the charger is magnetic and built into the case itself. What this means is you could drop the um, the charger in the case. You can get its built-in charger, open up the back, and actually plug in um, to the wireless charger that's inside. And then whenever you put your controller into it, it will actually charge the controller at the same time. Um, similarly, it's very easy to replace any of the keys because they're all magnetic and it's a simple process you just pull them off and replace them with whatever ones you want in the uh, setup same thing goes for the back paddles if you don't want to use some of these you just pull them up and they mag they're magnet and they just come right off you don't have to worry about breaking anything and then they magnetize right back on um, so these are really easy to put on and take off however there's one other step for the joysticks that you should know and that is this center tool right here uh, this tool actually goes into the joystick itself and it adjusts the tension so if you turn it one click down it will be uh, completely as, as tense as it can and then there's three stages, uh, center one, and then one all the way up. And all the way up is super, super loose, and there isn't that much tension. So you can actually control this however you'd like. Um, I like it right in the middle, but if you want to adjust that for your own needs, that is uh, somewhere you can do that. Uh, I almost lost my little cap already. And finally, um, there's also the rear controls here. And this is actually how long your um, right trigger and left trigger throw are. So in a racing game, you can have a really far throw and have the trigger go all the way down. And in a shooting game, you can have it really low and just barely touch it in order to shoot and um, continue shooting. So um, in Modern Warfare, for example, my right trigger, I have it as a short throw, so I could really just tap it and shoot, and the left one as a middle throw, so I can use um, what I need to use there. So it works really well in that sense. There's also another step in terms of actually updating the controller. You're going to want to go into the Microsoft Store and search for uh, accessories and it's Xbox accessories you're going to install that and you're going to launch it and we need to connect the controller to get started so let me go ahead and do that and we need to plug in with a wire because we're actually at times updating firmware on here and we want to make sure that um, our wires um, I mean our battery doesn't die halfway through a firmware update or something so none of this is done on um, Bluetooth um, so in our configuration we can go ahead and click on configure here and we can um, either add a new profile or edit a profile so I added one um, called Mike the Tech and what it is is on my triggers let's go ahead and make a new one Mike the Tech 2 So this will let us remap any of our um, uh, keys that we want to set up. So this is crucial for using our paddles. So by default, the paddles are the A, B, X, and Y buttons, but um, we can adjust these. So for example, on the right button, that's what we use to throw lethals in Call of Duty. So I could adjust the right paddle to instead throw a grenade and the shift we can just turn that off shift is when you're holding shift it'll um automatically use that one instead so you can hold a paddle and have different uses for different buttons if you like um but yeah you have lots of different um options here as well for sensitivity you can test your sensitivity and see how how that's working um you can adjust your trigger throw you can adjust how strong your vibration is, not just in your left and right, 
um, palm, but in the uh, triggers as well. And the brightness of your button. If you don't want to use battery as much, you can lower the brightness and you won't have to worry about using too much battery. Um, if we go back, let's go ahead and go back again. Um, you can click on the three dots here and you'll see if there is a firmware update that you'll need to update. I already updated mine, um, but if you're just plugging yours in for the first time, you may need to do an update. So um, you'll just click on that and click on continue and it will uh, continue through the update, but mine's already there, so we're all good. Um, and that is about it. Then when we wanna actually connect it on Bluetooth, let me go ahead and show you how to do that process. Um, you go into your Bluetooth settings right here if you don't have that icon, let me actually remove this so I can show you the whole process. If you don't have that icon, you can type in Bluetooth here and it'll take you to the same spot. Now, once you're on this spot, you just wanna click on add Bluetooth or other device, choose Bluetooth, and then hold this top button for about five seconds until you see the button start um, blinking really quickly and you should see it pop up. And then when you connect, it will connect wirelessly and install the wireless drivers. And you should be good to go to use your Elite Controller on any of your games. Um, I try to go through everything pretty quickly, but if I miss anything, please let me know um, in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. So far, I've really been enjoying this controller and um, it's really um, up my game, I think. <laughs> let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you later. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.